Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I put up a new video and or a live stream. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, a few months ago, I was talking to you about a dealership up in a small town in Vermont, St. Albans, Vermont to be exact. It's called Handy Toyota. They have their own YouTube channel. They've been around for a very long time. Well, every once in a while, they put up a great post uh, you know, about their new and used inventory. So I always check their website every once in a while, and I found another gem for you to check out. So a few months ago, I made a video on a 2022 SR5 TRD off-road Tundra they had. Now, what was special about this Tundra, it wasn't for sale. The point of the Tundra was for owners to come and test drive the truck to make sure they like it before purchase. The reason this is very important nowadays is we are coming from a completely different generation Tundra before this. For 2022, it was a ground up remodel. We have new engines, new tech, new frame, new absolutely everything. And these trucks are not the cheapest out there. So before spending that massive amount of money, dealerships like Handy Toyota were allowing these potential buyers to come in and test drive it to make sure they like it before spending their hard earned money. Well, guess what? Handy Toyota has one upped it. Now they have a 2022 Supersonic Red Limited Crew Max with the iForce Max engine. So if you're in the Vermont area, you can go test drive this truck. It is not for sale. It is a demo vehicle for once again, you to go test drive before you spend the hard earned money. Again, the iForce and the iForce Max are the two engines available in the new generation Tundra, and they feel very different from what we're used to with the legendary 5.7 liter V8. So this is something that is just amazing for a $60,000 truck to be able to go and feel that iForce Max and see if it's something you wanna spend your money on or keep your regular iForce from the last generation. So let's take a look at the truck and what is offered on it. It actually is a very good package to have as a test vehicle. It's the five and a half foot bed, Crew Max Tundra. And the reason why that's such a good idea is most people, when they're buying their Tundra, there is a six and a half foot bed available on the Crew Max now, but this is where everybody wants to be five and a half foot bed, at least as far as volume. Uh, the volume of customers, five and a half foot bed with the Crew Max. This has big tow mirrors on it. So the price of this right here is 58,660. It's a limited trim, no TRD. So you're gonna get a lot of standard options. The 14 inch screen, this has the 12 inch digital gauge cluster. This has the LED headlights. The JBL sound system is in this. So you get a lot of good stuff right off the bat because it's a limited. Soft text leather, heated steering wheel. Uh, Toyota outdid themselves when it comes to the way they put options on these trucks for 2022. Um, it's a lot different than last generation. They offer a lot more per package. I always talk about how the SR5, you can really build up uh, versus yesteryear, but this is your four by four right here. I mean, this is a great place to start. And as you can see, this vehicle is not for sale because it is a demo vehicle. What a great idea. I wish there were a lot more dealerships doing something like this if they were able to get their hands on something to keep around for a few months and eventually this truck will be for sale. But for now, it's just an amazing idea. Peace of mind and this is when you see your dealership taking care of the local customers Again, making sure they could spend their hard-earned money correctly. A nice side shot of this truck. Supersonic Red really brings out uh, you know, the detail in a lot of the cosmetic feel for this truck and the differences. They used uh, limited TRD off-road in Supersonic Red for a lot of their advertising for the 2022 next generation. It's just a good looking truck all around as far as color. Uh, you get the chrome door handles. Again, this has the tow mirrors, non-TRD, so you get the 20-inch wheel. Some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, come around the back, you get the chrome rear bumper there. Uh, Tundra splashed across the tailgate. And if you look at the handle of the tailgate and up over the Crew Max uh, back window that goes all the way down, you will see, well, probably can't see from here, but there are quite a few cameras on there uh, to check. You can actually look down into your bed to see if your load is still tied in and everything like that with the big 14 inch screen. There's a lot of options on it. Um, and you can also see uh, your trailer hitch and whatever you're towing behind you with the other camera and a backup camera, of course. Uh, it's definitely a nice truck to test drive because it has so much on it. Here's the big front end. This is the story of the 2022 Tundra thus far a year in. People love or people hate this front end. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. And you can't really see it from this picture, but that Toyota logo is actually outlined in blue. 
signifying it's a hybrid. If you look at some of the other Toyota models, they've done that forever. Toyota logo with the blue outline there. There's a great shot of the tow mirrors that are completely redesigned for 2022. A very nice looking tow mirror, um, aerodynamic looking. Uh, it doesn't look out of place. It looks like it belongs on the truck. So if you need them, they're there. If you don't want them, they offer the regular mirrors as well that do just fine. I've always been a huge fan, regardless of generation, uh, on the side mirrors of the Tundra. I think they fit in very well with the truck. And this next picture is a very important picture when you're shopping for your Tundra. If you walk up and see this up on the hood, that means you're getting the hybrid. If it's not there, it's the regular iForce 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. That is from a distance as you're walking up. There is no insignia on the hood. If it is just the regular iForce, there's just nothing there. So if you see this logo on the truck, on the hood, that means you're getting the hybrid. Inside, all black. If you are a fan or if you are not a fan of the new generation Tundra, one high five you have to give Toyota is everything they've done to the interior. The bolstering, the new seats, soft text leather, heated and cooled, everything about the interior is more tied in than it's ever been in my opinion. Uh, all the options in the center console, in the infotainment, everything is very reachable, very user friendly. There's nothing insane. It doesn't look like a 747 cockpit when you're trying to figure out all the controls. Uh, after driving it for a few days, you don't even need to look down at the controls to change them. It's just a very simple layout, just like it's always been for Toyota. But the seats are very comfortable. The center console is still massive for anything you need. Uh, and, you know, it's just a great looking dash, in my opinion. Definitely something that needed an upgrade. Uh, you get the grab handle back. And this is your digital gauge cluster, 12 inch. A lot of different options on this. You could change uh, the layout of everything uh, to your liking. But there's also, if you don't get uh, a higher end Tundra for 2022, uh, or if you don't get a hybrid, if you get the regular iForce and some of the lower trims, there's a different gauge cluster. That's more like what we had last generation, if you don't like that. Here's the big 14 inch screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, you know, everything that's on here is uh, pretty insane these days. But one thing I always want to stress to people when I talk about the screen, when I first saw the 2022 come out, I thought that screen was too big and it would be an interference for people driving or at least for me driving. But when I had my press vehicles, it's not annoying at all. It's not super bright at night, um, you know, not an issue. And after a few days, I got very used to it. The first day I got in the truck, it felt like a movie screen, but no big deal after a few. Here's another shot of the interior and the seats and the layout. Plenty of room in there. Uh, for a family and plenty of room up front for comfort. And I'm glad they brought that driver's side grab handle back for sure. Here's the iForce Max hybrid setup, 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 hybrid. Uh, it makes big horsepower, big torque. And as somebody who's driven the regular iForce and this hybrid, the hybrid is amazing. And just going over the sticker real quick, the iForce Max engine gives you 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque. You get the 10 speed automatic transmission, uh, you get the drive mode select with tow haul mode. Uh, it's obviously four wheel drive. You get a multi-link rear suspension. You get yourself a tow hitch, of course, with the 4.7 pin connector. Toyota Safety Sense 2.5, that is the brand new Toyota Safety Sense for the Tundra. Trailer brake control and trailer sway control, blind spot monitoring uh, with rear cross traffic alert, always good to have. Uh, this exterior, this is all the standard stuff. This exterior has the 20 inch alloy wheels. Once again, this is not a TRD off-road. This is just regular. Aluminum reinforced composite bed, tailgate release bump switch. And this has the LED headlights with DRL and manual leveling adjustment. Uh, the interior, you have the big 14 inch screen, 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster, dual zone automatic climate control, smart key system with push button start. You get the soft text on the inside and you get the heated and ventilated front seats and power vertical rear window. The only add-ons on this truck are the panoramic view monitor with cameras, and you get the PVM and BSM tow mirrors, and the special color will cost you an extra $425, making this truck with delivery $58,660. I wanna hear in the comments below what you think about that with the tech that's involved with this new truck and the hybrid iForce Max. How do you feel about that price? Now in the description down below, I'm gonna put Handy Toyota's website if you wanna go check it out. Uh, just a fantastic idea in having folks be able to test drive this iForce Max engine and really see if it's something that they want to spend their money on and then they could decide what trim. This is a great trim to get an idea because it's the limited, you're starting to get up into 
uh, you know, all of the good special features you may want or may not want. And the Limited is the first trim you could get the iForce Max. That's where it begins. SR5 is iForce only. And just remember, it has to be a Crew Max. So it's a great starting point. And then you can decide all the extras after that. But just to get a feel of the engine and the transmission and how they work together, depending on how you want to spend your dollars. Also on this website, just so you know, they have 30, as of making this video, they have 30 used Tundras. Uh, all the way up second gen, and there's even a few 2022s on there. And in looking at their new stock, they actually have a Lunar Rock TRD Pro 2022 there, and it looks like they have a white TRD Pro coming in shortly. So that may be something you want to look into if you're looking for a TRD Pro. Lunar Rock is obviously one of the best colors you can get on that. But let me know what you think. Do you wish there were more dealerships around the nation that offered a special demo vehicle that is not for sale and available to test drive so you guys could check out if you want to spend the money on this new Tundra, or if you're happy with your old Tundra and you're just gonna keep it, it gives you options, and options is good, especially when the prices are as high as they are today. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 at gmail.com. You guys have a great day, be safe, and be well.